which is yeah, really brilliant. good to see. I mean, it's stressful to watch, but it's great because it just shows the dynamic. Dyna- can't say it. Dyna- uh, <laughs> try. <laughs> try. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Phil Marriott. Look who it is. It's Sean Vickers. Sadly, no Raj Rudolph, but there are two of us bringing you another review so if you like music and movies we've got interviews here we've got red carpet coverage sadly not much of that though at the lff because we're covering the london film festival it's all right sean i won't do the lanyard i'll just do the brochure look at it mm, in all its, its fabulous view. shininess it's quite I'm, the brochure this year isn't it i love smelling you do some these brochures. Some damage with that brochure <laughs> oh yeah so uh, a film that we've both seen today because we have talked about films that i've missed uh, and i'm regretting that i've missed them because you've given them such glowing reviews but it's boiling point today uh, written by mm. philip barantini and james uh. cummings directed by philip barantini who i think was a one-time actor i think it was in chernobyl did you or should um, sorry for my cat. That's your cat, isn't it? <laughs> just wait a second. Just wait one second. Okay, go. So yeah, he's uh, a one-time actor. He was in Humans. He was in Chernobyl. Did you see Chernobyl? So brilliant. Powerful. Yeah, I loved it. Yeah. I, I loved Humans as well, actually. Yeah, really good. I mean, he's done some great stuff, but now he's a director. I think he's been a director for about 10 years or so. Uh, and this stars Stephen Graham, who I absolutely love. I can't think of anything that he's been in that I haven't rated. I did actually post a, twi- a tweet just the other day asking people to uh, mention something that I haven't liked. And Grace Dent replied to me and said, can't, can't think of anything that he's done that I haven't rated. So it's it's amazing. I mean, he's really become a cornerstone of British acting, you know. If you're just thinking recently, you know, he did the North, was it the North Shore, Help. You know, he's amazing in this. I mean, he's the busiest person. I don't know how he fits it all in. I mean, there's so much to this, even though it sounds quite simple when you talk about it. I think when you talk about the direction, um, like you say, single shot. I mean, is it one take? Because it feels like it's one take because there never seems to be any cutaways. There never seems to be any fades or any kind of trickery. It it does feel like you're on stage in a theatre play and you're just following yeah, so people around the restaurant. It apparently is one take. Wow. Um, and if you think about, we've seen things like this recently with like 1917, but even 1917, they cheated a bit. It wasn't necessarily one take. So this genuinely feels like a single take. Um, and it's basically 90 minutes in a restaurant in London um, following Stephen Graham, who is the head chef, and his team on like a very busy night of the year, which sounds a bit like that sounds like Dollars Dishwater. Yeah. It's not, it's really electric and really amazing because it weaves in personal story, it re- re- it layers in things about relationships with other ex- ex-employees, ex-bosses, ex-partners. They might do a real load of work. And amazingly, it also feels like a real restaurant because he used to be a chef, did you know that? I didn't know what Stephen Graham did or the director. No, Philip Barantini. Philip Barantini, I never knew that. So obviously that makes a lot of sense. I mean, if there's anything, if there's any film or or TV show that is going to put me off working in a restaurant again, and I used to many years ago, it's this one. Because I felt like I had sweaty palms. I felt like I I had that anxiety that I used to get from working in a restaurant because it's not an easy job at all. And the way the the camera moves, so yeah, single shot, and the way it kind of moves into groups, so there's kind of all the pre the pre run up to the customers arriving and what's happening in the kitchens back in the back kitchens and there's dynamics at play and people like or don't like each other mm-hmm. all that's coming through there's the prep there's the front of house there's the owner and the energy around the owner and then you've got like this mix of customers you've got like instagrammers who are basically like i don't want to order your food i want to eat something off menu you've got like fancy chefs coming in that are a bit like well i don't really rate the food you know like there's so much going on and the camera's just moving between this dynamic it's really good you've you've got all sorts of people like you say but it does feel very real i mean you i love the guy he's a dj at dalston superstore (laughs) and he actually got that name check in as well it's like yeah and he's talking about going on and taking the others with him the girl who's just come out of an audition i think she's been for an acting audition or a theater audition and she's running late for work so you've got you know all these kind of different characters but there's so many there's so much complexity but 
still, it doesn't feel over the top. I mean, I will say one of the downsides for me was that sometimes the arguments did teeter on the OTT a little bit and it did feel a little bit fake. But I mean, the rest of it, I, I can't fault at all, particularly now that I know that it's one take. I just think it's, yeah, a great piece of work. It's 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 great. I just find also like, like there's, at one point, there's a table of customers that basically only want to deal with the maitre d' and don't want to deal with one of the other members of staff. And just like beh- all these awful human behaviours come out and you see all firsthand and how people just basically suck it up because they're in the hospitality air, you know, industry. So they're just nodding and smiling, but they're clearly having a horrible time. There's so much at play here that, you know, on the surface, yes, it's 90 minutes in a restaurant, but it's not because it's so deep with regards to the character development, which is done through that. And also Stephen Graham, you know, he's, troubled and his story ekes out as you go through it and i use eek in a positive sense because it's it kind of drip feeds to you yeah it does touch on like racism as well because you've got that that young does, black yeah. waitress who goes over to you know she's not the original waitress they're, they're dealt with by by another young white girl and when the second waitress comes in to help their table he just kicks off and you see a real difference in his behavior as well just because she's 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 a young black girl and there's that that made me feel very anxious because if i was in that situation i would have stepped in and kicked off but obviously yeah, of when you're at work there's only so much you can do because you've got to in a, in a sense you've got to keep thinking the customer's right but the customer is not always right and i think that's what yeah, yeah. it does a great job in in kind of explaining you know that that there's only so much you can take working in that environment. The, the clue is in the title, Boiling Point, because they're obviously in a very hit, hot place. If you can't stand the but heat, get out of the kitchen. But this, this, you're right, Phil. There's that interaction between customer and member of staff. And then there's the interaction between member of staff and member of staff. And that's equally a boiling point. Because at one point, these three guys come in and one of them's like, oh, I have 30,000 followers on Instagram. Um, I'm going to take pictures of your food. And obviously, they, the front of house is going, oh, brilliant. And then they basically say, I'm going to order off menu. And the basically the head up front of the house goes, fine, yeah, let's do it. And then yeah. goes to the kitchen and is basically like, make these things. And the kitchen are like, hold on, we've got a set menu. We planned all this. This is what we do. This is nonsense. So there's also that. It's pretty really fractious between also front of house and, and the kitchen. Like, it's all kicking off. And, you, and the customer sees some of it, but you see all of it. That's what's clever about how it's structured. So, um, yeah, very smart. And Stephen Graham's character, obviously very sensitive as well as, you know, you expect Stephen Graham as, as an actor because he's played some really fiery roles and he, he often is, you know, he comes across as, as very um, violent and aggressive sometimes in some of the roles he's taken because, I mean, he's, he's a very diverse actor, but in this, he plays mm. something a little bit different and I was quite surprised by that, pleasantly surprised as well. It just shows how diverse he is he, as an actor. He showed a more kind of, like, vulnerable, yeah. kind of... Br- beaten down broken man less less kind of aggressive and and much more kind of brow beaten and and very much kind of like going through it you know more widely you could say oh this sounds like a bit of a gimmick you know oh it's the whole thing's been filmed in one take did it need to be done that way but i think what you get through that technique and it doesn't always work is you get the pace and the energy of the kitchen and of the restaurant. Absolutely. So it works really well. Yeah, and it makes it feel more real as well because it makes it feel like it's not cut and not scripted. It feels improvised in a way, even though I'm guessing it's scripted, but it does feel improvised and it feels... I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure it feels it's real. to some extent. I mean, we spoke about Stephen Graham. Obviously, that that's the talking point here is because he's so loved um, as an actor. But I have to say, hats off to the supporting cast. I mean, Vinette Robertson was amazing. Amazing as Carly. Yeah. Incredible. And also, uh, is it Ray Panthaki? Who was yeah, really he good? was also brilliant. I mean, he's popped up in a few things, hasn't he? He was in Line of Duty, and he was also in uh, Marcella. Yeah, he's done quite a few things, actually. I'm quite a fan of his work. Vinette Robinson, she is a pressure cooker going off. I mean, she demonstrates how great she is as an actor as well, and, and just lets rip which is yeah, really brilliant. good to see. I mean, it's stressful to watch, but it's great because it just shows the dyna... dyna can't say it. Dyna... Uh, <laughs> try. <laughs> Dynamism. It shows how dynamic she is. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's four star for me. I thought it was great. It did surprise me in many ways as well because I was expecting it to be... In a lot of ways, I was expecting it to be more of a firework, but it, it, 
in some ways it was very gently played out it's almost like it was but like the temperature was rising mm. and it took a while to do Four that for me as well yeah Four for me as well amazing so we agree <laughs> yeah we do <laughs> so well, that makes a change doesn't it yeah <laughs> i'm guessing it's gonna be on bbc or something in the future soon i think a lot of these have been are being either released by movie in the uk so I, I, at some point they're going to appear on a platform whether that be iPlayer or Movie or, or one of the others. So yeah, I, I'm I'm pretty sure. And also given how Stephen Graham is positioned in the UK these days as a kind of like preeminent national treasure, yeah, uh, in the acting world, there's no doubt that I'm sure that will appear on the BBC. He's brilliant. He is definitely one of my favourite actors. I've loved him in pretty much everything actually, and it's not just his performance. I think he just picks the right roles. He seems to know what is good and what isn't. When it comes to yeah, I agreed. You know, I mean, films. he was in um, Taboo as well, um, and he was in This Is England. I mean, uh, of course, love that. Just incredible, really. Yeah, anyway, amazing. Fab. Stephen Graham, Stan here. Yes, <laughs> big four from us for Boiling Point. If you've seen it at the LFF, let us know. Leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video, and we will be back soon because we've got so much to cover. See you all later.